And Ray, can you tell us what you're setting up today? So I'm gonna be working with Zuri and I'm setting up one key light and it's going to be creating, if you wanna kind of shine the camera that way, it's gonna be creating a circle on the wall. Um, and I'm gonna darken everything up. The model's gonna be standing in front of this circle and then I'm also gonna gel the background so that way I get like a blue atmosphere, blue, blue background. All right, looking forward to it. Hey guys, so I received some feedback from a few people. One of the general comments was that people want me to break down my photos way more. They want me to explain the light setups, the idea behind the concept, how I shot it, give a little bit more of EXIF data or the camera settings and the light settings. I'm more than happy to do that for you guys. I'm here for you. I wanna provide educational content for you. So let's get right into it. So welcome to another video of the photo breakdown. In today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down the photos that I created with Zuri, who is an amazing model from Orlando, Florida. She's awesome to work with. You can find all of her information to her Instagram and website right in the description below. Show her some love whenever you get a chance. On screen, you see one of my favorite images from this set. We ended up using a photo studio that had a cyclorama wall, in other words, a psych wall. As you saw in the beginning clip of this video, the entire studio psych wall was white. The goal, was to basically darken everything up a slight bit. So that way the light that I'm gonna be using to focus on Zuri is going to stand out way more than the ambient lighting. Whenever I want to get creative, I try my best to use things like gobos and gels. But in this case, I didn't have much with me, but I did have the attachments I needed in order to use my Godox AD400 along with a gobo set. Once I set everything up, I realized I did not have the skinny white gobo attachment that I wanted to use. Once I realized that, I was really upset with myself, but improvisation is key. So while Zubri was working on finalizing her look, I'm thinking out loud and I'm like, all right, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Well, first I was gonna use some of my debit cards, which are plastic, to create a line. What I was going to do was place these cards essentially where the gobo slider will be placed. However, it was a little bit too thick and it wasn't going to line up because I still needed to make room for the three little holes that would connect to the secondary piece. So knowing that plastic wasn't gonna work for me, I ended up thinking of another idea. I ended up having a few business cards of my own that would work better in this scenario because they're paper and we can cut out little holes. I opened up the projection kit, I separated the two pieces, and then I inserted the two business cards, lined them up to create a very thin line. And that would be my method to create a linear source of light. If you look on screen, you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. This is exactly how I had it set up. And yes, some of you make fun of me in the comments, say I might have caused a fire or that's not the best way to do it. But guess what? It worked out for me. I improvised and I created. That's the end of the story. All right, so now I closed up the gobo set, I connected everything, and then I had to get it tested. Here's the tricky part. Everyone else around me and behind me was using their own light setups. The studio itself had a whole bunch of lighting that I couldn't turn off. So usually when you're working with projection kits, you have to turn off the lights so you can turn on the modeling lamp inside of your light unit and then see exactly where that light is going to fall off. So we had to play a lot of guessing games when shooting. That wasn't fun at all. <laughs> Zuri's a great model to work with. She knows exactly what she's doing. She's posing, she's moving around, we're creating great stuff. Yes, I had a repeat or retry a few shots only because the line did not line up very well. I had nobody to assist me line it up for me. So everything is just between me and Zuri. We're working together on this set. And a slight adjustment that you make to your lighting or her movement can throw everything off and the line and her would not line up. If you take a closer look, you can see that the lines aren't really straight and that's okay. I wasn't really too mad about that, but to me, it worked out anyways. We came out with some great images. I'm not too upset about the straight lines. If you look on screen right now, this was the settings that I used on my camera for this set of photos. We ended up changing the lighting around, changing some color gels, and we created another set of photos, but that's for another day. That's gonna be another video. So stay tuned for that one. Guys, I just wanna remind you, your support is what keeps this channel growing. Continue to support me by simply liking this video, liking all of my other videos. Take a look at the other videos I have. If there's any specific topics that you guys would like me to talk about, feel free to leave them in the comments, leave me some feedback. Subscribe to this channel if you already haven't. And if you're new here, welcome. Guys, it's Ray Alvarez. I appreciate you watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.